All right, welcome back, Melville Foodies, and we are back in the house once again, honey, ready to do something different that we have never tried before. But before you do anything, if you are not a part of this community, I need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Also, hit the little bell button so you can get all notifications when we post up new videos. Honey, yes, your eyes do not deceive you. That is a slab of spare ribs on my table. Do you hear me? So, the other day I had made some fried salmon, breaded fried salmon. Y'all, when I tell you it was busted, oh my God, it was so fire. If you want, and that video is not on my YouTube, if you want to um, see that video, my recipe and how I did that, just uh, go to my description and hit my TikTok link. Follow me on TikTok so you can get that recipe honey it was busting so when i posted that on my facebook somebody had asked me um have i ever had fried ribs and i said no i've never had fried ribs so of course i went on pinterest and looked up some stuff and i was like okay i'll, I'll see what you're doing so i said let me try my own because when i think of fried ribs it's like okay what is it pork chop with a bone honey we about to find out because i don't went in my freezer and pulled out this spare rib that I didn't know what I was going to do with. And honey, we are getting to it on today. We are going to be doing fried spare ribs. And so for my ingredients, and I just thought about the things that I use when I fry up something. So, of course, we have our all-purpose flour. I did not have any fresh lemon, so I do. But I did have some lemon juice. We have our ro our roasted garlic and herb seasoning, our smoked paprika. We're gonna be using some all-purpose Greek seasoning and some onion powder. And I have my apple cider vinegar. So we're going to get everything together. Honey, we're getting ready to prepare and prep these ribs, honey, to go down in this hot grease. Honey, you do not wanna miss it. Stay tuned, sit back, relax, kick your feet up, honey. We'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so we are back and we removed our spare ribs out of the pack. And the first thing you want to do with these ribs is turn them over. And you guys see that part right there? That is called the membrane. And what you want to do, you actually want to remove that part of the ribs, uh, that membrane on the back part of the ribs, because it'll cause your ribs to be tough. And then your seasonings will not penetrate through your meat. So what you... The best way is to get a paring knife to lift up that skin. And then you just want to pull. And if it's slippery, Get you a paper towel. See that? All right, guys. Once I got the paper towel, like I told you, it's slippery, and just pull it off. And it should come off in one pull and get any pieces left behind. All right, guys, and now I'm just removing some of the fat off of these ribs. All right, you guys, so now you turn it back over. And I'm going to go through here and cut off some of this fat.
And you don't have to do this. This is just something I do with all my ribs. All right. And so now, in order to fry them, you got to decide where you want to cut them. Um, spare ribs is pretty big. So I would cut pretty much one bone. So let's go ahead and start doing that. And you can use a knife, but for me, scissors are quicker. See that? All right, guys, we're going to get all of these ribs cut up and I'm going to get them washed. And how I wash my ribs, I put them in vinegar water. I add a little lime, a little salt, and I just, you know, play with them until and rub, you know, really good to get any dirt or anything that came from the warehouse where they came from. Because them warehouses be nasty, guys. So make sure you wash your meat so we're gonna get these cut up and washed and I'll be right back okay you guys so as you see we got all of our ribs cut up um, and I'm gonna show you and I did have to use a knife at the end to cut through like the gristle and the bone but I'm getting ready to show you how I soak my ribs to clean them and the first thing I'm gonna do is add a little salt it's about two tablespoons. Then we're going to add some white distilled vinegar. That was about a cup. And we're gonna add some citrus. And this is a this is lime. That was about a tablespoon, maybe a little more. And then we're gonna add water, one moment. All right, and so you see we add our water and basically what I go, what I do is go through and massage to get all gunk or anything that's not supposed to be on these ribs. And I let them soak in this solution water for about 30 minutes. And so after they soak, guys, I'm going to rinse them. And we'll come back and I'll show you my seasonings that we're going to add to these ribs. So don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. All right, you guys. So I wanted to bring you back um, to show you the water um, it's been soaking for about 30 minutes and I just wanted to show you why it's really important to make sure that you clean your meat whether it be fish chicken whatever beef clean your meat because and the vinegar and the lime or lemon and that salt all of that helps to kill bacteria and viruses you know because animals they're <sighs> They carry diseases. I mean, we know swine flu, um, salmonella, all of these things. But when you soak your meat, y'all look at this. This is so just, that's nasty. And you got to think about it. If you don't clean your meat, this is what's going in your body. And this is causing you to be sick. So just make sure you clean your meat. I just wanted to bring you all back just so y'all can see how cloudy and dirty this water got just by soaking um, in here for 30 minutes. So I'm going to rinse these real good. Then we'll be back to season our chops. And also I wanted to show you, you know, your meat is clean good because it turns from pink to like this grayish looking color. 
So just remember that. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are back. And as you see, we have rinsed our meat off. How long do you rinse your meat? Until your water runs clear. So, and like I said, the meat is no longer that bright pink, but it kind of looked grayish. And that's because it's clean. So, for your seasonings, honey, it's your kitchen. Do what you want, okay? But for what we're going to do in Neoville, I'm going to use a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And the reason why I'm using some apple cider vinegar is because when I do ribs uh, in the oven or if I do them on the grill, I always soak them in apple cider vinegar because it helps to tenderize them. Of course, we have our uh, Greek seasoning, all purpose. Getting some of that in there. We have some onion powder. And guys, I would say, and it depends on how much meat you have, how many ribs you're frying. Um, for that slab of ribs, I would say about one to two teaspoons of these seasonings if you choose to use the ones I have. Then I have my roasted garlic and herb. Y'all, th this right here, my God. I put this on everything. I have some lemons I wanna squirt in here. And last but not least, smoked paprika. All right. So now, we're just going to go through here and get each one of them all good and soaked up, honey, in these seasonings. If y'all could smell this, my God. Just make sure every rib has been massaged with whatever seasonings you're doing, honey. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna let this set here. Now, if you wanna put a top on this and fry it tomorrow, baby, <laughs> you got yourself some good eating. However, I can't wait that long, y'all. I'm hungry, okay? So we're gonna let this set on here, I would say 30 minutes to an hour. Um, then y'all, honey, we're going to flour these up and we're going to go to the deep fryer. All right. So we'll be back. Don't you go nowhere. Okay. You guys, we are back. And as you see, I started flouring some of my ribs. I did not put any seasoning in my flour. You can do that if you want, but I chose not to because this has so much seasonings on it already. And so basically what you want to do, take your meat, just roll it around, honey, in your flour. Get it coated real good, real good, real good. Coat it real good. Sorry, guys, I forgot about the TV in the background, but it sounded like somebody cut it off. All right. And then, this is our ribs. And what we're going to do, 
we're getting ready to go over to the deep fryer. All right, guys, so we're at the deep fryer and this is vegetable oil that we have in here. Um, and I have it on 350. I don't want to put it on the highest heat because I want to make sure that they get cooked really well. So we're going to start placing our ribs in our deep fryer. We have some smaller pieces. And you don't want to overcrowd it. I think we can do one more. And I'll let you guys know um, how long these cook. But you want to cook them until they get a golden brown. So we'll be right back. Alright you guys, so our ribs have been cooking for about 11 minutes. Um, as you see, they are golden brown. And we're getting ready to remove these. And work on our second batch. We'll be right back. Okay guys, so we are back. I want y'all to get a close look. And so like I told you, y'all, I didn't even taste it off camera because I wanted to taste it on camera. I got the boys here. They're going to taste it as well. Um, and what you want to do, whatever dipping sauce that you like, honey, get your dipping sauce. Get it together. Baby, it's time to eat. So we're getting ready to try these fried um, spare pork ribs. I got a little one right here. Let's go ahead. Well, I want to try it without the dipping sauce first. <laughs> Girl. Yep. Yeah. Y'all about to start speaking in tongues on camera. <laughs> Five. I told y'all there ain't nothing but a pork chop on the bone. <laughs> Come on. We're going to let the kids try. Mm. Mm. I know they like sauce. Y'all like it? I like it. You like it, Malachi? It smells. Mm. All right. Yeah, but <laughs> check this out, though. Y'all see that right there? Baby. Stir fried cabbage. We finna grow. Listen, we're not playing in Neoville. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, share. Tell your auntie, tell your cousin, tell Pook. You might even want to do something different. Are you double dipping? Mm. Okay. Um, <laughs> you might even want to um, do some of this for Thanksgiving. He over here talking about some nice and juicy, y'all. Thank you all for tuning in once again. We really appreciate you guys. Like, share, comment, everything. Remember, honey, it's your kitchen. Do what you want. And you can do all things through Christ. Uh, you want to say it? You are a kind. That, that is what I... You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And remember, you are more.